Hi, Bob from PineGrow here with another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to introduce you to the developer social networking site, CodePen.io. I'll demonstrate how you can easily search and bring resources from this page into your own projects in the PineGrow web editor. Let's get started. The CodePen website is a great resource of code snippets ranging from complex CSS drawings to complex elements made with HTML, JavaScript, and CSS from designers around the world. Opening up the home page, you can see here at the top, there are a number of what they call picked pens. So these are basically featured snippets. Slightly lower on the page, you'll see that there's a list of people to follow. These are people who are regular and prolific contributors. For example, Chris Coyier, a regular writer for both Smashing Magazine and CSSTricks.com. Plus, he's a co-founder of CodePen. The site also posts weekly challenges. These challenges help you to improve your coding skills. You complete the coding challenge, post your own code for feedback, and then you can check out how other people solve the same challenge. At the very top of the page, they also have a search box that lets you narrow down the code to the exact type of element that you want. For example, then you get a list of different pens that match that particular search criteria. You can add uh, additional sort by or search depth, and then you can go ahead and click through to that pen. For this tutorial, I'm gonna use a pretty simple navigation menu. I've already searched through the pens and found one that I like. In order to make sure that the owner of the pen doesn't change or delete it, I've forked it into my own account. Basically, this just means that I made a copy that I can freely change and not worry about what happens to the original. Right now, I have the example open, and I will give the, um, the URL for this example uh, below the video in the description. Uh, but I have it opened up in a customized editor view. Normally, the editor view has three windows along the top and a large one at the bottom. I'll just show you what that looks like. I've changed it to the, side, to the left side just to make uh, uh, this video a little bit easier. So right now, uh, the three windows along the left contain editor boxes for your HTML code, your styling, in this case as SCSS, as well as your JavaScript. And this particular example happens not to have any uh, extra JavaScript entered into the editor box. This large center uh, box, center window, shows what the output of the browser will be when it runs your HTML, CSS, and if it had it, JavaScript. As you can see, we have a nice vertical menu um, that has hover effect. Uh, and so we can go ahead and bring this into our project um, to uh, give us a nice polished menu very quickly. Okay, the first thing that we need to do is to determine what resources we will need along with the code displayed on the page. To determine this, we can click on the gear icon located at the upper left of each window. So I'll click on the HTML one now. That'll bring up this modal that would show us if there's any extra things that were brought into the head, links or scripts, uh, as well as whether or not there was an HTML precursor like Markdown or Pug. In this case, there isn't. So we can just bring this into PineGrow very easily. Now checking the CSS settings, we can see that this pen was put together with a CSS preprocessor or SCSS. So uh, PineGrow could handle less SCSS and SAS. Um, however, it could not handle uh, processing of stylus or post CSS. Um, so we'll talk a little bit later about how to best bring the CSS into our project. You can also see down below here uh, that um, this pen is also bringing in the font awesome uh, styling sheet, fontawesome.css. And so we're going to have to bring that into our project as well. And we'll talk about how we do that. One thing that you don't see here is the bootstrap styling. So this is not a bootstrap uh, snippet. Uh, if it were a bootstrap snippet, we would uh, have to bring it into a um, bootstrap template, or it would be easiest to bring it into a bootstrap template uh, within our PineGrow project. And then finally, uh, we can check the JavaScript, even though there's no JavaScript in the uh, code box, 
there is the possibility that they load that this snippet might have loaded jQuery uh, or some other uh, library from CDN that we would have or content delivery network that we would have to bring into our Pine Grove project. Uh, but in this case, they didn't. Okay. So in order to bring this pen into our own project, we basically need to copy the contents of each of the three editor windows into our own pages. So since this is a plain HTML snippet with no additional framework elements, we're going to open up Pine Grow and go ahead and create a new blank page by clicking on the new page or project button. And then we'll select plain HTML and the basic template. Once we get that open, we're going to go ahead and save this. And we'll go ahead and save it to a location where we can get back to. As you can see, I already have one saved for code pen. So we have to give this one a new name. Save that. And then we're going to go ahead and open it as a project. Okay. Starting with the HTML, we can import the code in several ways with Pine Grow. First, most simply, we could simply highlight and copy all the HTML, then paste it either onto our page using the Pine Grow code editor, or using another code editor connected to Pine Grow, like Visual Studio Code. Pine Grow has a better solution, however. Instead, we will use the library panel insert code box and then drag the resulting element to the page. This will also allow us to easily save this element for reuse in our project. So navigate back to the code pen and click on the HTML editor box and then uh, click on either control A or command A, depending on your particular operating system to highlight all of the text. Go ahead and copy it again, control C or command C, then navigate back to your Pine Grow web editor. Make sure your library panel is open. And then in the insert code box, go ahead and type the key combination to go ahead and paste that code uh, into the box. This will result in a new element appearing that you can then drag to your page. Okay, pretty non-impressive, right? This is because none of the styling has been added yet. However, before we start any of that, let's go ahead and save this element into our library panel. To accomplish this, select the topmost element in our tree or on the page view. So if I click here, you can see in the breadcrumbs below that we're not at the topmost element. So we can simply click here. Once we have that clicked, we can then right click and then say add as HTML snippet. We can now see in our library panel that there's a new snippet in our user library that's unsaved because we can see this star named comp one div. If we go ahead and right click on this, we can do a, a variety of things like delete or if we change the code, update it. But for right now, we're just going to rename it. Now we're going to go ahead to the file menu and say save all. This will ask us for a new name for our library of snippets. And we're just going to leave it as userlib.js. So now that's saved into uh, our project and we can um, uh, open that up in any other page that we want or any other project that we want. Now that we have the HTML brought into our project, we need to bring in the styling. Navigate back over to our pen on CodePen. And next, remember that the CSS was being put through a preprocessor, in this case, SCSS. Now, Pine Grove does have a built-in processor that can interpret SAS, LESS, and SCSS, but it is not able to interpret some of the other types of preprocessors that CodePen supports. So it's best to go ahead and convert our preprocessor code over to the final static CSS. To do this, click on the downward caret on the right of the window and then say, View Compiled CSS. Now, the CSS that's in this particular window uh, will be easily um, interpreted by Pine Grow. So now, once again, just highlight using your key commands, copy, navigate back to Pine Grow. And now, this time, we're going to add it into our existing style sheet. 
In order to accomplish this, first navigate to your style panel, then click on the downward caret next to style sheets. Then we'll pick our existing style sheet, styles.css, and click on the code icon next to it. This will open our style sheet in our PineGrow code editor. We can click within the code editor and then paste our styling. Looking at the output in the page view panel, it still doesn't look like the code pen snippet. This is because if you remember, this page also needs font awesome loaded. We can do this in a couple of ways. PineGrow has two versions of Font Awesome as built-in libraries to add to your page. To access those, you would go to File, Manage Libraries and Plugins, and then click on the Activate next to either Font Awesome 4 or Font Awesome version 5. However, I also want to show you how you could do this if there was a, a CDN that PineGrow didn't support that this snippet required. So in order to do this, we're going to navigate back to our code pen, click on the gear icon next to CSS, and then copy the CDN that's delivering the font awesome CSS. Next, we're going to navigate back into PineGrow, and under the file menu, go to manage style sheets. Now to bring in that content delivery network URL, we're going to click on open URL and then paste in the copied file location. Click on add. And then we need to make sure it's added to the page. So we'll click on attach to index.html. Okay, we're getting a lot closer. If we compare between this view and our code pen view, we can see that the font is a little bit different. And that's because in code pen, they use a base sans serif font for everything unless you specify otherwise. We can see that this is the case if we go ahead and open up a developer's window and then go ahead and select one of the elements on the page. So for example, this home, if we look at the font, it's 16 pics in size and it's sans serif. Similarly, this one is also sans serif. So let's go back and make the change in PineGrow. Navigate back over to your PineGrow, and then we're going to go ahead and figure out what the best uh, what the best element to add this rule to would be. So we don't really want to add it to our div nav container. It could interfere with other uh, items within our navigation. Instead, let's go ahead and add it to our list item. So go ahead and make sure your styles window is open and click on one of the list elements. We can then select one of the rules that are already existing. For example, this rule that will change the styling of all the list elements. Scroll in our visual editor to the font text area and simply type in sans serif. Okay, that looks pretty good. Pretty much identical to our original example. Going forward for other code snippets, if you had to add in JavaScript, there are at least two different ways that you could do it. Um, first, you could add it directly to your page between script tags, uh, and then that could be done either by um, directly opening the uh, page HTML and editing it, editing it here to include that script tag, or you could add your script tag into uh, the insert code box along with the JavaScript copied from the code pen. Or finally, uh, you could create an all new file for uh, your custom JavaScript. And you can do that by uh, from the project panel by simply clicking on this downward caret next to the project name, saying create new file, and then go ahead and edit that file either uh, in the uh, built-in PineGrow code editor or in an external editor. All right, so that concludes this tutorial. I hope it's helped somebody and I hope it helps you to be able to bring in the wide range of different snippets from CodePen into your own projects easily. As always, if you want uh, further clarification on any point or if you just want to bring up um, some uh, other issue that you think uh, would be interesting to cover in this tutorial, please either email me or visit our forum uh, where we can discuss. Until next time, 
Have fun designing with Pine Grow.